Hi guys! I am in my loungewear at home, had my shower, put Mona to bed and I thought let's do a little mini PR haul. Um, so the lighting, the quality is not going to be great but PR haul and things that I've bought because I have been starting to get things um, mainly because I'm growing on TikTok. I am not growing on Instagram or YouTube. That is a slow, slow, slow pace. But TikTok is just really, it's growing. And so I think brands are starting to notice me and send me a few things. Um, so a lot of the things that I have been given, I've done work with. And then I've also bought a few things like today I bought some stuff in the Priceline sale. I bought from the Sephora sale just a couple of things. Um, so yeah, we've just kind of got a mixture of stuff. So I'll start with the stuff that I bought. Um, I went to, here's my little fetch bag, plug, my eggs bag. I don't think you can really see it in this lighting. It's a bit, it's not very good lighting. Um, I went to Priceline today with both my children. It was not fun, but it was the last day of the sale and I had no choice but to take them. So I have the prices here. Um, I usually throw these things out, but I actually have it today. So let's go through it. Um, anything that I mentioned today, let me know if you want a review on it. I got a couple of things from Kind Cosmetics because I have not yet tried them. So this is the Color Theory Eyeshadow Palette in Golden Bronze. Um, yeah, sorry, the lighting's not great. It's very warm lighting, but it, it, it's like neutral to warm. I would not say it's warm. I would not say it's cool. I think it's very in between. Anyway, I really like the colors. The other one was a little bit more berry toned that I could see. This was $8.97, but I think it was 40% off. I think it was 40% off everything, but then there was like essence that was not on sale because they're already so cheap. I don't think I bought anything from Essence. No. Um, the other thing from Kind I bought is the Healthy Glow Sheer Foundation. This is what interested me the most. I paid $11.97 for this and I got the shade Light. It looks, where I, at my, my local price line is quite small, like my closest one. There are other ones that I could drive further to, but I just wanted to go local. I could only see two shades. Um, there's, I'm assuming that there's more, maybe three. I don't know. Color correcting with anti-blue light ingredients. So I'm interested to try those two. Then the rest I got was all from Revlon, I think. No, I got L'Oreal lip gloss, this lip gloss. I just stumbled upon it. I saw it and I was like, no. It is so pretty. When I do try new makeup on video, you'll get a better lighting, but it's this beautiful warm toned pink shimmer. It is stunning. Like it's so, the prettiest shade. So I saw that and I just had to have it. And then I got two eye products. I've always wanted to try these from Revlon. This is the So Fierce palette, Prismatic palette. And I got the shade Tantrum. Um, a few of them looked similar, but for me, I thought this was my most wearable. I probably wear this shade the least, but I would wear these three. I like this real taupey shade and like chocolate brown. Um, so I just really wanted to try these and I never wanted to pay full price. This was $12.47. So full price is kind of expensive for four shadows at drugstore. And then I love these Revlon color stains. I already have two, but this color looked really pretty. It's called um, Stardust. And it actually looks really sparkly. I don't know about the quality of my camera, but it's a really pretty, I would say it's cool toned, silver top, gray it's a pretty color very like much like stardust would be <coughs> so i got those um i'm going to show you something that is not makeup that i bought that i just is, think is so beautiful it's this australian jewelry brand from byron bay called f and h jewel jewelry uh, f and h like letter f 
A N D H. Um, and they had this sale, and these earrings were on sale, and then they had the sale on top of it, so it ended up being pretty good price. And their jewelry is like glamorous but androgynous at the same time, and I love that. Anyway, they have these like really like chunky gold, chunky silver with pearls and oh, I, I love this. I definitely want to buy more another time, but I just wanted to try the brand first. And I've got these really pretty earrings. So you've got, this is purple. You can kind of tell. And then you've got like these little diamantes in gold, little gold hoops. I thought they'd be really cute. And I think with like an ear cuff as well, we'll kind of like make it a little bit more rocky. Anyway, I thought they were really pretty and something that I don't own. I don't e own earrings like that. So I thought they were really pretty. I'll link as much as I can down below, as much as my memory will allow me, but I'll definitely link these guys if you want to see them. I saw them um, advertising on Instagram, fell in love. I don't always. I got a couple of things from work in gratis, meaning I did this really big sale. Um, so my manager let me pick a couple of things out. I got this Shantakai blush that I'm hoping is magnetized. Yeah, it is. Okay, there's a magnet on it. Fantastic. So I could put that in one of my palettes. I just thought it was a really pretty color. This is the horse. It's called Joy, but it's got a um, embossing of a horse. And then it's really pretty. And I love Chantecai. See, that's just one swipe. Really pretty color. So it's not in any packaging, but still it's Chantecai. So it's worth a lot to me. It's my favorite brand. Speaking of, I bought my first lip gloss from Chantecai. If I had to, of any lip gloss formula I have ever tried. Fenty is up there for me. I think their gloss formula is um, supreme. And I've tried the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. It's not as good as the Fenty in my opinion. Chantecai is even better. So um, partly, part of the reason is the colors are beautiful. The formula is 10 out of 10. These are called the Brilliant Lip Glosses. I got the shade Love and it's this baby pink shimmer. But the third thing I love about it, it's a brush applicator. So it's, I've got no makeup on, but it's just, it's pretty much clear. Hmm. Like their lipsticks are like super hydrating. So is this, it's like putting moisturizer on your lips. It's fantastic. They're very expensive, but they are the best lip gloss I've ever tried in my life. And you know me, I've tried a few. I've tried a few lip products in my day. I bought the RMS Beauty Re Evolve Natural Finish Foundation. I was testing the Cossus and this one to see which one I preferred. Um, and I preferred this one purely because of my circumstance. I've gotten a little bit oilier. Um, I don't know if that's just the weather or post baby or my hormones are changing. I don't know. I used to be the driest gal in the whole wide world. I'm not dry anymore. I don't have dry skin anymore. Like that's not even a thing. If anything, I'm getting a bit congested and oily nowadays. This was more suitable for that. The Cossus I absolutely loved, but when I wore it at work, I just had nothing left on my face at the end of the day. Whereas this stayed on. Um, so this had a little bit more long wear. So it's a natural finish. So it's not matte and it's not dewy. It's very natural. It's really nice. Um, I got the shade zero zero. I haven't used it yet because I'm still finishing the little tester pot that I got. I would say it's not my perfect match, but it'll be good for me in summertime. Um, I'd say it's, it's not like it's like orange or anything. There's a good undertone. It's just the slightest bit too dark. So I can blend it. It's not a problem. Um, whereas the Cossus was a better match for my skin tone. Um, so I have that here. They're both really beautiful. If I didn't have a million foundations, I'd buy both, but I also really want to try the Hourglass Ambient Foundation when that comes out very soon. I think I already showed, I already showed you my Kevin Aquan palette. Didn't I? Did I use it? No, I talked about it in the new Makeup in Australia video. That's right. I was just showing you that I bought it. I got the shade Light. I haven't used it yet. Um, so there's light, medium, 
dark and deep. I think there's four. So I'm really keen to try that in a video. I haven't used it on purpose so I can use it in a video. I was really sick last week so I didn't really film and my mum was visiting as well for my and it was my daughter's birthday. I was just so incredibly busy that it actually made me sick and I had food poisoning. It's been a nightmare. So I'm finally starting to feel a bit better. So I'm going to hopefully be able to do some content on Wednesday, my day off. The other thing I got in gratis that I forgot to show you is um, the Westman Atelier Highlight Stick in Lit Up. Oh, it's so pretty. It's got a purple, pink and blue reflect, but it's clear. So any skin tone can wear it and I'm not going to be able to properly show it but i'm pretty happy that i got that this is my first westman atelier product i i am going to buy i know i'm going to buy the new blush shade is it called mimi it's absolutely stunning it's my kind of shade it's like a muted dusty neutral kind of pink oh it's just beautiful right um i want to quickly show you i've got all these samples at work because i want to sample rampage i got the costas foundation the rms foundation i got this shantakai sheer bronze face tin it's brand new at mecca and i've been using i, I filled this pot and i've already used it like four times and I've probably got, I've really probably only used half of it. Um, and I absolutely love it. I've been wearing it like a primer, like under my foundation. And it's kind of like the DeBronzy drops, except it's more skincare. Like I feel like you could wear this alone. Um, or you could wear it with maybe sunscreen or foundation. So it definitely has a tint to it. So if you're super fair, it like me. It shows up so I wore this when I had gradual tan on it and I could have worn it alone there's no I wouldn't say there's coverage but there's definitely a tint there but it was really nice under makeup because I had those skincare benefits while giving you a bronzy tint I think I'm gonna end up buying this too because I absolutely love it then I got a sample of the Sarah mighty eye balm from drunk elephant I just got a little bit I haven't actually tried this yet so I need to put that in my bathroom. I got the Shantakai Retinol because it's intense and I've started using Retinol. So I feel like my skin would be able to take that. And then I got these two, I got two of the new Kiehl's um, Retinol that's for nighttime. I currently have the daytime microdose one, but this is a more intense one for nighttime. So I'm gonna use that as well. And then I got some, um, I don't know where they are, sample pots. Oh, maybe they're in my bedroom. I can't remember where they are. I got sample pots of some Amorovitsa masks. I'm wearing one, the Midnight Radiance mask, and then I bought the silver, the silver mask. I, Amorovitsa have the best face masks in the whole wide world. I'm not really a huge face mask person, but Amorovitsa is my exception to the rule, which you can get at Mecca. Um, and then the last thing I got was actually a gift from a lovely subscriber, Nicole. I love Nicole. She accidentally got an extra one of these or she bought a pack and then, anyway, she had an extra of the P. Louise. Stack them up. There's so much text on here. Take the risk or lose the chance in back yourself. Anyway, it's the orange toned palette. And I've always wanted to try the P. Louise formula, so I'm so excited to have this. Um, I actually really love, like, even as quads, like that, and then that. Doesn't that look super pretty? So I'm really excited to try this. I have a feeling they're going to be super pigmented because, like, that's kind of the aesthetic that P. Louise is. But it's such a cute little palette. I'm really excited, and I thank Nicole so much for this beautiful gift. All right, then I went to, I did a Sephora online order. I got the um, Way Leave-In Conditioner. This is a repurchase for me. I originally had the Byredo collab from Cult Beauty of this product, um, but you can't get the that in Sephora Australia. So I just got this one. I don't even know what it smells like because I only had the Mojave Ghost one. Anyway, this is my favorite leave-in conditioner. Hmm, that does smell nice. My favorite leave-in conditioner or like, nourishing hair product it is so good and I had to get it on the sale then I decided to try one of the glass house perfumes because glass house is now at Sephora 
and I don't have I actually really like the size I paid $30 for this 14 mil so 4 mil more than your standard 10 so it's just that little bit bigger and I got this the um, scent uh, Taha Taha Affair so it's their you know their caramel ca candle the really popular one so I thought I would try that because I don't really have caramel vanilla -y type of fragrances just does something different and it's definitely oh should I go to bed with smelling like this why not it's very gourmand mmm very caramelly so yeah I'm really excited to have that and I thought it was a really good price and I'm glad I, I got the small one and then the last thing I got was from Give Beauty Gwen Stefani's makeup brand I got the high performance matte lipstick in original me <sighs> said it before and I'll say it again I love Gwen Stefani and this is the lipstick I haven't bought a red lipstick in a while and it's just the most beautiful red color it the actual bullet it looks like high quality I haven't even touched it yet I'm too scared I'm too scared to ruin it but it looks like actual perfection it's very high quality product without even trying it so I'm really happy I got that. And you've got this cute little inside the packaging. Not that that really matters, but what do you call that? Paisley print. Bring back the Paisley. So all of that packaging for three products. All right, and then I got PR. So this is over a period of time. I'm not one of those people that gets PR every day or every week. Um, so the first thing I've actually been using now, these are supplements, so I can't tell you my opinion or how I think they are effective. All I can tell you is about the product. So this is um, the Australian brand. I like supporting Australian brands, and this brand sincerely interested me. Um, I don't work with brands that I don't think align with something that I would use or like. So if I show it to you, it's because I'm genuinely interested. Um, this is the brand Tonic, T-O-N-I-K. They have um, supplements and they also had, oh no, it was mainly supplements, but they had like collagen, they had a coconut oil, they had hemp, and they asked me to pick out two and I picked these two. I picked the turmeric, which is a high strength liquid filled, easy to swallow capsule. Um, and this has, I think it has it on here, turmeric root extract, but it's at the like the highest dosage you can have. And they put it, um, they put, uh, what do they put in it? They put in um, a, a carrier oil that, oh, sunflower seed oil. There we go. And that is the, a great carrier oil for turmeric, apparently. So that's why I picked that. Um, and the benefits were, turmeric is really good for digestion and like microbiome gut health, I think. But this is the one that I was most interested in. This is the apple cider vinegar. Um, and it ca contains the mother, which is what you need for it to be effective. I was someone that was taking it from the bottle and it actually like hurts your teeth. And um, it's not good for your mouth to be drinking that. So these capsule forms are perfect. And it's a really good high dosage because it's in a concentrate. They don't taste like anything. They're super easy to digest. Um, and you take two at a time, I believe. So um, that's why I was interested in that because I was already taking apple cider vinegar and in capsule form it's just like so much easier and it doesn't taste disgusting. So I was, I'm really liking these. Um, I can't tell you any benefits that I'm experiencing, but I will probably buy myself um, more of the apple cider vinegar. So then I got, speaking of um, uh, supplements, JS Health. Um, I did a TikTok with them. This is the Skin Bright Plus Radiance and Complexion Capsule. And this is a clinically studied, studied blend of ingredients designed to support skin radiance and a brighter complexion, along with vitamin C to support skin health, collagen formation, wound healing and blood capillary health, B3 zinc support. So it's really good for females, um, supporting skin hydration and overall health. That is what it claims. So yeah, I'm up on the supplements, guys. And then the other thing is the vitamin, the balancing vitamin cleanser. So this is for cl to clear and calm the skin with chamomile, 
avocado and vitamin E for all skin types and it is age defying with the JSH V7 complex. This is really nice. I've got it in the box um, because I have used it. I've got it in the box because I'm used some to try it and test it. Then I'm using another one that I'm going to use this after. So that's why I've still got it in the box. Um, but this was really nice. It's very good, I would say, for drier skin because it didn't strip. It felt like a cream going on that um, washed off totally but it didn't have a gel or a foam or anything it was like a cream it was very nice and hydrating definitely felt that avocado kind of feel to it uh, so I really really enjoyed that if you do have a drier or more sensitive skin type I would definitely recommend this All right, we had a crying baby but we're back the next thing is probably the most insane gift I've ever been given like I don't even I don't even have words when they contacted me I thought sometimes brands contact you and then you hear nothing and then you don't get anything or sometimes they don't reply back and then something ends up on your doorstep that was the situation so I didn't hear anything and then she had lost my email or something and then a month later she replied and anyway doesn't matter have you guys heard of current body Current Body is an American beauty tool brand. They sent me two things. They sent me the Cairo Roller, which is pretty cool. So you put on your serum and you do your, oh, oh, that feels good. I really need to start using this because my face is t tight, but not in the good way, in a stressed way. Oh, that feels so good already. Okay. Um, it even gives you a little massage techniques and you can put it in the freezer. Um, so it's, it already feels cool, but you can put it in the freezer and make it really cold or the fridge and use on clean skin. For facial use, apply your favorite serum or moisturizer if desired. Start at the center. Oh, it's lymphatic drainage points in your ears, blah, blah, blah. You can use it over your body for, um, to soothe your muscles as well. So... Maybe like a little bit of this. I actually have um, an affiliate link with these guys. So if you are interested, they definitely ship to Australia. I think they have an Australian website. Oh my God. That feels too good. Like, you know, the good pain. I really need this. I need to dedicate some time to getting in the swing of this. Um, cause that for me, it's just a new routine and I really want to do this like beside my bed. I might even put that beside my bed. That'd be pretty good actually. Um, and then <laughs> move aside guys. I'm about to age. No, I'm about to look younger. I'm going to do reverse aging by about 10 years because I got the led light therapy mask, like the Dr. Dennis Gross. But this one, this one is $200 cheaper than the Dennis Gross one. So it comes, this is separate, this little strap, but I've just left it on there because I use it. But so you charge it and then it's, you don't have to have it plugged in. It's, um, what do you call this? Like hands free. So you just turn it on, right? And it stays on for 10 minutes exactly. So you can't accidentally burn your face. Um, and it's so cool. I'll show you. Oh, let me take this off. So I use this, I only just got this. So I'm still in um, the reviewing stages, so I don't have an opinion yet. But you can also get little black goggles that I have. I just don't have them on me right now, so you don't see any of the light. Um, I just closed my eyes and it was fine. But, um, yeah, so this is for 10 minutes. And there was no pain, nothing. My mum used it as well because my mum has a lot of redness and um, she was very jealous that I got this. So this goes for about $500, so it is an investment. But when you compare it to other brands, um, I actually saw Trini um, using this. Is it from Trini London, her makeup brand? Yes, I know who Trini is from many years ago, Trini and Susanna. Um, she was using this. So I think it's quite a popular brand. 
And I think they're um, kind of branching out to the Australian market. So what I'm doing with this is I am going to do some before and after photos. So for me, I want to target my crow's feet here because I don't have a lot of wrinkles, but I want to help it with redness and my eyes. So my plan is to use this. It says three to five times a week. Um, so I plan on using it quite frequently and I'm so excited. Like I cannot explain how excited I am to try this. Um, on a regular basis and actually see proper result, results. I am so, so grateful that I was given the opportunity to be able to be gifted this and it comes with a bag as well. And this is really easy because you can just do it on clean skin for 10 minutes. That's it, 10 minutes and you're done. And you just sit there, like it's, it's quite relaxing. Uh, so I'll have those linked down below if you're interested to just look at it. If you want to buy it, I would um, be so grateful if you use my link. I do make a commission off of those. So lastly, I got some products from Raw Cosmetics. I actually saw Raw Cosmetics at a few chemists. Um, I've realized that they're at a lot of health food stores because they're natural. They're super, few, super food infused beauty. Now I have been using these products because I've had it probably for a month. I gotta say, I'm very impressed with the quality. So I've heard of Raw before, it is an Australian brand. Um, I got the Superfood Crystal Glow Elixir and it's got white tourmaline, wild berry harvest and kakadu plum. Beautiful um, kind of primer base S serum. You know how serums kind of dry down a little bit tacky? It is like that, but it's got this beautiful glow, but it's very natural. See, it's a very natural glow. It has a citrus scent. Oh, it's so lush. It's so lush. Kind of reminds me of like your Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, but not with coverage because it's got that beautiful glow, but I think the Flawless Filter has coverage. This has no coverage. So that's really nice. I've been really enjoying using that. Then I got the lipstick, Coconut Kiss in the shade Cool Cherry, and this is so good. I am shocked at how, not shocked, I say shocked because I don't know the brand that well, but the quality of this lipstick, it is so moisturizing. So this is like a hot pink, and I love it. I actually wore it on my daughter's birthday. Oh, do I have a photo? Oh, I might have a photo, but it might not be the best photo. I'll insert it if I have it, but it's just, it's full pigment, but it's super moisturizing. It is so lush on the lips. And it's got the magnetic packaging. It's really high quality. I, I really recommend the lipstick and it is 96% natural. And then the last thing I got is this Loaded Lash Volumizing Mascara with Coconut Oil. Can I tell you, if this is not, uh, I don't really have much of an opinion on mascaras, but I wanted to try this because I had coconut oil. I actually requested to try this one. It's my favorite product out of all three because look at this. Look at this applicator. It is like a tip and it's so easy to get in there. I love the design of the brush. I've never seen a brush like this. I can't even zoom up on it. See? But the, the brush itself is really nice and firm and really gets the lash coated. And it makes my eyes lift. My eyelashes really properly lift. Very lifting. I would not say it's like makes them really thick, but I don't want that anyway. I prefer length and lift. And it really does that. And I have been loving, I haven't been able to put this down. So I'll definitely, I think I'll use this in a video coming up too, because I want to see you guys to see this in action. But if there is anything that I've mentioned today, please, please, please tell me what you want me to uh, do in a video, um, like a new makeup first impressions kind of video, uh, because that really helps me pick because you know, like I've got multiple eye products, all that kind of stuff. So that is everything. That's over a few month period. Um, very grateful. 
I have so many new goodies to try out. And I want to thank you guys for supporting me, watching me, liking me, commenting. I really appreciate you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.